Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Shalom, the Lord bless you. My name is Roger. And I welcome you to God's Move channel with Pastor Roger. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. If you're watching me for the first time, you are highly welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping to me on this channel. Please do me a favor. Just click on the button subscribe. Like the videos and share it with your friends. Share it with your friends, with your loved ones, and with your families. And God, who is a reward of men, will bless you mightily and abundantly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The prophetic word of today, the Lord says, mm, Beware of your prayer life. Beware of your prayer life. You realize that at the beginning, when you gave your life to Christ, your first love for God, your love for God was so intentional, was so was was so consistent, you it was so strong that every minute, every second that passes by, you could not just move without speaking about the Word of God. You could not do anything without praying. But now if I, you find it difficult to pray, now you say, "Oh, I need to have a quiet place to pray." But remember. When you gave your life to Christ, how zealous you were, how 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 much you were you were in you were on fire for God, you were burning for God. But right now, but right now, because God has blessed you and has given you that which you're looking for, that job, that uh, uh, fruit of the womb, that husband, that wife, but you find it difficult now to pray. When they say let's go to church, you say, oh, please. Uh, I, I cannot make it today because I have a very important and urgent meeting. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They say, let's pray. He said, no, I have this very important meeting which whereby I need to attend. Let's pray. He said, no, because I have this, um, uh, I have, I have this, this place to go. I have this business transaction. I have this deal that I need to close. Now you forget the place of God. But whereas when you were still homeless, you had no home, you had no job, you were consistent in prayers. Believe me. Whatever place you on that position where you are, you need to keep doing it to maintain yourself. Mm, I repeat it again. Whatever place you at that position, whatever you did, that place you at that position of power, at that position of authority where you are today, you have to keep doing it to maintain there. So if you pray to God for God and God bless you that position, you need to keep praying for sustenance. God needs to keep praying for God to sustain you and to elevate you more and more. If you did whatever fetish thing you did, whatever fetish thing you did, believe me, you have to keep doing that fetish thing to maintain that place where you are or to grow higher. Because the moment you quit doing that thing that you did to get to that end level where you are, you start falling. Therefore, your downfall will start. There, you start falling. Hallelujah. The Lord says, do not relent on your effort. Do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. For scripture says, scripture, scripture says, for we are the salt of the earth, the salt of the earth. What if the salt loses its value? It has no test. It will be useless. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Please do not relent on your prayer life. Keep praying consistently. If you do not pray in pleasure, you will pray in pressure. If you do not pray in pleasure, you will pray in play in pray in pressure. So it is better you pray right now that you are okay than to pray when you are in distress. Because remember, the prayer that saved you today is not what is not the prayer you pray this morning. They are the prayers you pray yesterday. So and the prayer that will save you tomorrow is the prayers you pray today. If there is one thing that you can send into your future, is your prayer. Your prayer is the only thing that you can send into your future. It goes, your prayer, when you pray today, your prayer goes into your future and it check, it double check, it sees whatever that would damage, whatever that would damage the image of God in your life, it deals with it before you get there. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Do not stop praying. Please, do not stop praying. For prayers is the key. Jesus started in prayers and he ended in prayers. Jesus started in prayers. 
and it ended he ended in prayers so prayers is the key hallelujah prayers is a key prayers is a key it is a key that you need i pray for you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the Lord refuel your zeal to, to pray, to worship Him, to stand by Him. The zeal to worship God like never before. The zeal for you to keep burning in God, keep burning in His presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, thank you. I pray right now, O oh Lord God, my Father, may you touch your people. May your Holy Spirit touch them, saturate them, replenish them, O oh God. Revive the prayer life in their lives. Revive the prayer life in their body, in their souls, and in their spirit. Keep burning in them, O oh Lord God, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Mm. You are favored and you are lifted. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Stay blessed. And God bless you. Shalom.